In 2017, two white storks wrote a new chapter in long-distance love. Their story was hailed by global media as the greatest love story of the 21st century. The whole world anticipated their reunion, and even the president modified laws for them. This male white stork, named Klepitan, crossed the equator multiple times over 18 years, traveling back and forth for 16,000 kilometers, all to keep his promise to his partner. This legendary story took place in a small town in Croatia in 1993. An elderly resident of the town, named Vic, unexpectedly rescued an injured female white stork. With the old man's careful care, her injuries gradually healed. But unfortunately, the broken wing from a gunshot prevented her from long-distance flights. So the old man built a nest for her on the roof and named her Marlena. Since the injured Marlena couldn't catch fish, the old man went fishing for her by the river every day. Through their time spent together, he began to see Marlena as his daughter. Every time he went out, the old man took Marlena with him, and the passenger seat in his car became her exclusive spot. The initially wild Marlena was gradually transformed by the old man's love, and they spent eight beautiful years together. However, the unexpected happened. In the spring of 2001, a male white stork suddenly entered Marlena's world, bringing with him a long-lost love. Upon learning of Marlena's injured wing, he didn't reject her. Instead, he insisted on fishing for her every day, taking on the responsibility of taking care of her. Through his actions, he gradually won Marlena's heart. The old man realized that his daughter was in love. So he named the male stork Klepitan and specially built a larger nest for them as their marital home. In the following days, they stayed close to each other, and before long, their love bore fruit. Klepitan, who guarded his wife and children, would fish for Marlena every day, fulfilling his duties as a father and husband. Marlena, immersed in love, also experienced significant changes in her life. They thought this happiness would last forever, but unexpectedly, Klepitan disappeared. After one of his trips, he never returned, and Marlena Marlena was left alone on the roof. She spent her days gazing at the distant sky, yearning for AK's return day and night. The old man couldn't believe that Klepitan, who seemed reliable, turned out to be unfaithful. Seeing his daughter growing thinner every day, the old man felt a heavy heart. Helpless, he had to force feed Marlena and take her out for a walk every day to lift her spirits. With the old man's dedicated care, Marlena's health gradually improved. But since Klepitan's departure, she had lost her radiant smile. Time passed, and it was already March of the following year. Suddenly, one afternoon, a familiar figure appeared in the sky. Klepitan had returned. Faced with this scene, even the old man found it hard to believe. It turned out that Klepitan left because of the instinct of migratory birds. In order to reunite with Marlena, he had to fly from distant South Africa, crossing the entire African continent and traveling 1,600 kilometers to reach Europe. Each time they migrated, Klepitan was always the last to leave, and when spring arrived the following year, he was the first to return, all to spend a few extra days with Marlena. This may well be the most distant long-distance relationship in the world. Winter passed, and spring came. They remained faithful to each other for a whole 15 years. In these 15 years, Klepitan and Marlena raised a total of 66 children, but every grown-up child flew far away, leaving only their enduring love for each other. The white stork is one of the few monogamous species in the natural world, and their loyalty to love surpasses even life and death. Until the spring of 2017, all the white storks had returned, but Klepitan's presence was still missing in the silent sky. Seeing his daughter waiting day and night, the old man grew extremely anxious. So he searched the internet for the migratory routes of white storks. He discovered that Lebanon was a necessary stopover on Klepitan's long journey. And this country was known as a paradise for bird hunters, where approximately 2 million birds perished during their migration each year. He knew he had to do something. So the old man took out the feathers left by Klepitan and wrote a letter to the president of Lebanon. In the letter, he not only told the love story of Marlena and Klepitan but also appealed to stop the rampant hunting of migratory birds. The president, deeply moved upon receiving the letter, immediately ordered the modification of relevant laws to protect protect the migratory birds. This letter gained widespread attention worldwide, and major media outlets around the globe reported on it. Their love was hailed as the greatest love story of the 21st century, and tens of millions of internet users were touched by their unwavering love. However, despite all this, Klepitan never returned. To follow the progress of the event, the media installed cameras near Marlena's nest and began live video broadcasts in city center squares around the world. People watched eagerly in front of their screens, praying for Klepitan's safe return, hoping he would come back unharmed. 
But as the days went by and the days of bird migration came to an end, there was still no sign of Clepitan. People speculated that he had likely met with misfortune, and some had already begun to mourn for him. Just when everyone's hope was about to shatter, that familiar figure suddenly appeared on the screen. Clepitan had finally returned. In that moment, the square erupted in thunderous applause. Everyone embraced each other, tears of excitement filled their eyes, and people around the world rejoiced at their reunion. The love that transcended life and death stirred people's hearts and couldn't be calmed for a long time because it was the best proof that love never dies. The returning Clepitan was covered in wounds, and no one knew what he had experienced to fly back to Marlena's side. It turns out there really is a kind of love in the world that can cross mountains and seas and come rushing to you. In 18 years, he proved to the whole world that when love is strong enough, any obstacle can be overcome. Love can bridge the distance of a thousand miles, and both mountains and seas can be leveled. Finally, I wish everyone to find the warrior who is willing to brave all obstacles for you on the path of love. I am Angela, and I'll